What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It's Thursday and the servers are back online. Hopefully they stay up. We have got a 700 million download celebration. We also have a new Byron pack that's going to be coming. We're going to be going through everything, right? We're going to be going through everything. Now, I want to talk about this Bayern uh, Munich kind of event that they're going to be doing because it's going to be tied to these players exactly the same as the Barcelona one. So you had the big time booster Araujo, who's probably one of the best centre backs in the game. You also are going to have Davies, <coughs> Musiala, and of course the rest of the Bayern boys there as well, right? So we'll get into that. We're also going to be talking about the Asian Cup a little bit, but a lot of this stuff is very kind of card heavy and card based, as you would expect. Um, there's a lot of new cards coming. They're going to be tied into the Asian Cup here as well. And this event, right? So we'll talk about that a little bit later in the live stream. I'm just going to keep this short and sweet and keep it basic because we just do a roundup of what's coming this week and what is here today. What's coming Monday, we'll do on Saturday or Sunday, right? So I do feel like that the boosters at the moment now, they're starting to kind of broaden them out a bit, right? So when we take a look here, we are going to be getting a special login present of a live update player of the week. One player for three weeks. So we're going to be getting three players in total. We're also going to be getting a special login bonus from the Epic Worldwide Clubs. Now, if you guys remember, right, I've said um, for a while that I'd heard that we were going to be getting a free legend, right? A free Epic player. Um, this seems to be that special login bonus. It seems to be a bit, you know, later in the year than I thought, or maybe, you know, going into January. Um, but the campaign objectives, the tour obje objectives, and the challenge events are all there as well, right? So, as we go back here and we get our login bonus, we are going to be getting our 700 million downloads campaign login bonus. And this item is here. That's going to be tied to the Leo meter and for the downloads as well, right? We get an apology from the uh, admin as well. So everyone will get that. It doesn't matter how long you've been playing the game. Now, these presents here are these, uh, these login bonuses that you get here. Everyone is going to get them as well. And then also on top of the 700 million download campaign, you're going to get a Rudiger card. You're going to get 150 coins. You're going to get this skill trainers uh, from the Leo meter as well as another uh, training programs here. So these skill trainers are kind of nice. Um, and this login bonus. So this is what we were talking about. So this login bonus here for the clubs, this is going to give us this here, right? And I'm going to show you when we go into contract here. Now we have other stuff as well. We'll get into the Rudiger card and that. But this one here is going to be its own thing, right? So this special one here is going to be at the end, but it's in a 150 box. So what I had heard was there was going to be like a 20 box um, selection and you were going to get like five or six logins. So it seems to be pretty much the same. I think everyone is going to end up getting one or two legends anyway, just by law of averages. So Van Basten, Torres. Um, interestingly enough, these are the non-booster uh, older epic cards. So... It's very interesting to see that like these cards are not going to have the booster and also that they still have these in. I think that they're going to try and balance the boosters a little bit going forward. But you've also got Lizarazu in there. You've got a couple of good ones. You've got a couple of bad ones. Um, but obviously, you're probably going to get out maybe 15 players that you don't want. And, you know, or maybe 17 or 18 players that you don't want. And hopefully one of the legends. But even at that, lads, they're not top tier legends, to be honest with you. Unless you have missed out on these cards before, right? Um, you also have as well to just go through all the cards while we're here. We've a lot of new cards, right? So we've got the Worldwide Player of the Week, um, which is, is Salah. We knew Salah was going to be coming because they teased him. You also have a new Diaby card. Hernandez is back. Rodri is back. Uh, Cunha is back. Um, there's there's some okay cards in here. I mean, Salah is a little bit disappointing because his tie possession and balance, we've talked about this before. He does get a booster though, right? So Salah's booster is plus three to passing, max plus three to low pass, lofted pass, curl, and kick and power player stats. Live update rating or B or above. Maximum effects will be activated when the player has an A live update rating. So again, there's a lot to, lot to kind of sink our teeth into here, right? So essentially what you're going to be getting now is a mixture of the live update form arrows that we had before that you would get a statistical upgrade to your individual stats. This time they're telling you, right, if Salah is on A form, which he is this week, he's going to be getting a plus three to all his stats that you see here, right? So I do think this is a good idea, um, especially for player of the weeks, and I would like to see this rolled out, but... We've got a lot to discuss about the about the boosters, man, because I definitely think they're going to change massively in the next couple of weeks, okay? We'll get into that. His speed is fine. His acceleration is good. You're going to be getting a plus two with the manager boost as well. But the tight possession and balance for a card like this just comes nowhere near his blitz curler. Rodri as well, very, very strong card. Obviously, the speed and acceleration is a little bit of a worry, 
but we'll get into that. We'll do a full pack review of these very, very quickly um, later on, right? The rest of the cards that you see here, right? So these cards here, including Endo, these are going to need to be trained up and they don't have boosters. So they're just all regular cards um, with a little bit of uh, a new design, right? So these cards here, you're going to have 11 players in here. Again, if you are a fan of any of these players, Matoma's in there, Endo's in there, Ito's in there. Um, you also have Kubo. There's some nice players in there, but you do have um, 100 coins. You can you can clear that pack, right? It's the same with Thailand. It's the same with Republic of Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia, Hong Kong, and India, as well as Iraq, China, Saudi Arabia. There's literally every team that's taken part in the Asian Cup. Um, so like this selection here is going to feature a lot of nice, nice cards. So... You guys let me know which you want to see me do, um, <coughs> excuse me, in terms of player reviews, because there's a lot to get through here. Maybe like a super pack um, collection there, right? We still have the Italian League Guardians. We still have all of them going on. And of course, these are still going on as well as the freebies, okay? So for me, I'm a little disappointed in, in the cards. Until Monday, I think we will get probably new uh, Epics Monday, right? In terms of the actual um, other stuff that they've added in as well, right? They have actually added one of my favorite ever players, Goretzka to the point shop now i know people will complain and say yeah that he's not a great card but he's got 28 levels he's got some fairly decent beefy stats his form is inconsistent which is a bit of a pity but if you are a newcomer you could do worse than get this box to box goretzka we will get him we'll review him we'll train him up we'll see how he goes later on in the stream um other than that it's just events man so it's just events there's nothing really else going on here obviously you have new objectives tied to the 700 million downloads that's fine as always, we do have these new events here. You can complete all these objectives and you get your coins or whatever. And then on to the actual couple of things that they talk about here in the menu, right? So they had a couple of issues that they wanted to talk about with the maintenance, with the objectives. They also distributed the Leo Meter rewards. Interesting to see, will we get a Franz Beckenbauer card or will we get some sort of thing there? Um, you know, obviously it's very sad that he died. So they do express their sincere condolences to his friends and family. Um, and hopefully we get a carbon or hopefully they just do a nice little feature in the game for him. It would be quite nice because he has been an important player for him um, as an ambassador, right? Other than that, everything else is kind of explained in the banner above here. You still have pretty much everything going on. I don't think we'll see a big update until maybe February, March. Um, you have always got the events that are going to be rinsed and repeated. So you've got your team play that's still ongoing. You're going to have them... Uh, them rewards kind of refreshed you're also going to have your unlimited so that's going to be your skill trainers and of course that's going to be your playing versus people so you are of course going to get uh matches online you're going to get your trainer xp um and then also as well as that you've got your coin ones where you're going to be getting your skill trainers as well with these dream team you can pick whatever team you want it doesn't really matter what team you pick if you don't have enough players in your squad you'll get players on loan um as is with the club team uh as well so you get your 50 coins for that you get your 23 players if you don't have them to use in that event you also have the italian club event that's going on and then the ai event it's just rinse and repeat so you've got these ones national teams uh, event and the european club event that's going to give you your skill trainers and that one is going to give you your worldwide player of the week spin such as for salah or any of those but other than that lads it's pretty much the same stuff going on i don't think we're going to see a big big update for another couple of weeks um i think what they're trying to do now is they are literally trying to kind of like i think steady the flow of like godly cards so that the cards have a little bit more uh bite to them you know what i mean so um it is going to be interesting to see whether or not they add more stuff um but i reckon yeah it's going to be at least another 20 30 days until the next season comes in with season four um that they actually you know do that so that is it for me lads i'll be back very very soon we'll be back with the player of the week review let me know what else you guys, what else you guys want to see until then, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you later in the live stream. Peace.